Hey guys, Gustos here. We're back for another video, and today we're gonna be doing a uh, little how-to. Today we're gonna be doing how to mirage. I'm gonna teach you guys how to mirage. All right, guys, let's get right into the video. Okay, guys. So before we can actually talk about Mirage's abilities and such, we need to talk about Mirage. So he's an offensive healer. I'll show you what that what I mean by that later. But I uh, he clicks the people who like to play supportive and offensive. And uh, the reason why I play him is because one, he is the wingman, which I love, and two, he's a guy like me. <laughs> Anyway, so, alright guys, let's get right into tips and tricks and abilities. Okay, let's do this. So, once upon a time, Mirage actually didn't have these exact same abilities. When Season 5 launched, he got a complete kit re rework. So now he's an offensive healer. Alright, so I'll show, you, I'll show you what I mean. His tactical is Psych Out. He sends out a holographic decoy in which you control. You can control this decoy in two different ways. One, by holding down the tactical button when you pull him out. You know, his decoy. And the second way is when he's out in the field, you can just hold, you can press uh, the down, the down arrow to control it. And it moves the, in the exact same way that you do. Of course, when you're using a jump tower, it doesn't fly, but I do kind of wish they made it like that, but it's fine. Now, let's go to his passive. Okay guys, so this is what I was talking about, that he's an offensive healer. His tactical was pretty offensive, but his passive is the healer part. So, when it, whenever using the respawn beacon, he, he, he goes invisible. And when this is my favorite part. When you're reviving teammates, he goes invisible. And I just really love that. I feel like, I feel like that's what he needed in this kit. But yeah, I'm just ruining it. Okay, let's go to his next ability. This is the ability that changed the most. His new ultimate is Life of the Party. Whenever you activate it, he sends out, uh, like, controllable decoys. Which, you know, go into the different directions that you're going. So you completely blend in. This is, this is probably one of, the, this is one of the fastest charging things in the game, I think. Aside from Octane's jump pad. But, I really love his ultimate now. And there's a lot of uh, cool things you can do with it. Alright, let's get into the tips and tricks. Okay guys, this is the tips and tricks section. Let's get right into the tips and tricks. Okay guys, so the first tip is that, put your decoy in front of you. Because it looks like you, but it's not predictable which one, which one is which. The next tip is that, if you're Mirage, heal them. Heal your teammates, please. Dimmy is looking, they won't even know who you are. You get a free res off and that might help you win the game. And, get the Mirage the golden backpack, unless you have a lifeline on your team. I don't know why you would have two healers on, on your team, but, I mean, I'm not judging you. Next tip is, when you're getting in a big big gunfight, you, you're, use your ultimate, that comes really fast. One of the fastest ultimates that, that come. And, you know, they, you might not take as much damage if you didn't. Because they'll know which one it is. When it is. But if you shoot, go, go into the decoys, mix yourself up, and come back out, they won't know which one you are. Alright, the next tip. Whenever a Mirage decoy is destroyed, it shows you where the enemy's location is. So, if there's a Watson trap, send your decoy into it. It will show you the exact location of the Watson. And that can be really helpful to, you know, wipe out that squad. Alright guys, thank you so much for watching this video. See you next time guys. Peace. 